Thank you so much, Fabulous Carsman129, for suggesting me to review this guy right here, Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen. So, let's begin. So, as you can see here, he is a nice metallic red. It's not as shiny in the movie, but whatever. I'm pretty sure his first release in 2007, that's that's at least what mine is from. You can see his raised eyelids, which means there's depth between the eyes and the eyelids. Rusty's medicated bumper arm, and of course he appeared at the end of Cars 1. You can see Metallic McQueen's dent and chip very easily, you can see. Yeah, my cruising McQueen is even worse. 95 as a sticker on top of the headlight, which also is a sticker. 95, this really, really awesome look here, the uh, Cruising McQueen lightning bolt. It's basically Cruising McQueen, but with his racing decals. He, of course, also appeared in many of the car's video games. I believe Major National and Rama. You see down here, Piston Cup. Little Torque Pistons, Revolting, Mood Springs, and are his secondary sponsors. Lightyear on all four tires. There's the gas cap, really not the right color, but oh well, it's not the same color as the rest of the stuff. He has, of course, the little rusties in the back. No medicated bumper ornament slogan. Also, though, no rookie stripe. Because I guess he just finished his first year of racing when he showed up to Radiator Springs in this paint job. 95 rusties. I do believe it says... I can't tell. I think it says rear end formula. Something down there. Uh, obviously all the 95s are nice white circles. His two weird things that I will never understand, and there's the base. Of course, as the model of Cars 1 McQueen, however, they really don't share that many similar similarities at all, so... Here is Cruising McQueen, or Cruising. You can see his front is dented. As is the back. Sorry, it's not as bad as I remember. Does he have the gas cap? Yeah, he has the poorly colored gas cap. Uh, anyway, though, you guys can totally see the similarities. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, thank you, Fabulous Cars Fan 129, for suggesting uh, this review.